First at five breaking news. This 21 year old arrested and charged with making threats at a local high school accused of threatening students with a hit list. Thanks for staying with us for NBC Charlotte at five. I'm Sarah French and I'm Fred Shropshire. The threat forced Clover High School into a lockdown this morning. Here's what we know at this hour. The threat was posted on Facebook Live Monday evening. We're told it was not directed at the school as a whole but did list specific students by name. The school forced a shelter in place while deputies investigated and made that arrest. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez broke this story. Tanya, a scary day for both students and parents. Oh, sure. We talked to some students who were in the school today who tell us this is all everybody wanted to talk about. They were talking in the hallways, in the classrooms, as word spread that an adult possibly wanted to do harm. Students sheltered in place for much of the morning at Clover High School as fear spread that an adult could be looking to harm kids. I think it was kind of a dumb choice. Like, why would you do that? Travis Brown is accused of posting a hit list on Facebook and threatening to hunt down kids at the school who he believed were bullying his so-called little girl. But we learned that's not even the 21-year-old's daughter. Sources tell us it's his girlfriend's kid who was getting bullied. Going out and doing something like that, like it would embarrass me if it was my parents. The York County Sheriff's Office so concerned about what they saw, they ordered the school to lock down. I mean, it kind of scared me at first. Caleb Johnson started getting frantic texts from his little sister inside the school this morning. I'm just trying to calm her down, <laughs> make, her, make her know that everything is going to be OK. Brown now behind bars, accused of communicating threats. Johnson says Brown set a bad example. All the kids at Clover, they look up to all the parents around here and stuff. There's no need for that. So the school actually sent home not one but two notes to parents today. One of them acknowledging that these threats caused angst for the students and for the faculty here. Still, they said that they had to lock down for a few hours this morning to maximize safety. This afternoon, school let out as normal and things seemed like it had returned to back to normal. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendez, NBC Charlotte. All right, thanks, Tanya, for that report.